This is mechanical drawing one. This will be the first drawing in the mechanical drawing unit. Now I'm just going to introduce you to some new things that you're going to see that didn't exist in the architectural drawing unit. Uh, the first and most obvious one is going to be the actual layout of the drawing. You're going to see it's got the top view, the front view, the right view, and the isometric view. Isometric essentially means three-dimensional. Now one of the popular misconceptions that people have when they first look at this uh, this layout is that it's four separate drawings of four separate things. It's not. It's the different views. So if you were to look directly down, bird's eye view at the object, this is what you'd see from the top. Uh, likewise, front and right. Okay. So these are just the views. It's one drawing, different views. Now, this circle with the slash through it is something that's going to be a lot different than what we've seen in the past. This circle through with a slash represents a diameter 16. Uh, with these types of measurements, always take note of what the arrow is pointing at. This particular measurement is pointing at this small circle. It's saying the diameter is 16. So what it's saying uh, is from bottom to top as a measurement of 16 inches. All the drawings in the mechanical drawing unit will be in inches. Now R16, that means radius. It's pointing at this lar large arc here. And it means from the center out, it has a distance of 16 inches. Always pay attention to the arrow and what it's pointing at. Um, now the layout here, as far as the measurements, uh, these extension lines here um, are going to highlight what the measurement's actually pointing at. And uh, it'll have the measurement in between the extension lines with the arrows. So, for example, here, from here to here, uh, has a distance of 52 inches. Now, what we're going to do to start out with these types of drawings, I always encourage students to pick the most obvious basic shape. Now, in this particular drawing, the most obvious basic shape that I can see. Now, once again, if you see something differently, uh, the end product is what get mark gets marked. So, if you decide to do it in a different way, uh, by all means, uh, feel free to do so. Um, when I look at it, I see this, this basic shape of this rectangle. Now, the top view tells us the rectangle has a length of 52. Uh, if we go to the right view, it has a width of 40, and it's 32 inches high. So that's what I'm actually going to start out with. So I'm going to go rectangle. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to say 52 inches, comma, 40 inches, and that's going to be our rectangle. I'm now going to go push and pull. I'm going to pull that up 32 inches. And we've got our basic shape. Now going back to the drawing, it's got this space in the middle. Uh, the space is 18 inches, and these portions on each side are 11, and this wall thickness here is also 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually grab my measuring tape and lay out some, uh, some measurements. So I'm going to say 11 inches. Now, as you're working, especially with the measuring tape and some of your measurements, you're going to notice 3 foot 5 inch, 3 foot 6 inch. Now, one thing that you're going to have to change with all your mechanical drawings is uh, the manner in which it lays out your measurements. So we're going to go to Model Information. Uh, usually it's going to default to Units. If it doesn't, uh, click on Units. Uh, then we're going to go down to Decimal. And we're going to close that box. So now when I measure, we're going to have it in inches. So there's our 11 inches. We're going to go 11 inches. Uh, another 11 inches here. Grab our pencil. Go straight across. Straight over. Straight over. Uh, you can erase unnecessary lines as you go, or you can do it all at the end. It's up to you. I'm now going to go push and pull. Let's get rid of this, and now we eliminate that. So now I'm going to work on the arc and the circle. So the arc has a radius of 16. So first here, 16. is 16. So I'm going to go 
Ten seconds. Mid points. I'm going sixteen. I'm gonna go. Start. It says. Step back to all this. All through the end. It's radio. stuff we don't need. Okay. Push push the hole all the way through. And we'll repeat the process over here. So we'll go midpoint in. 16. Bring that out. End point. 8. the stuff we don't need. Gonna push that all the way through. Okay, now we've got our basic shape. Now what remains is this circular part that protrudes from the right view. So it says it's in the middle, so if you want you can go across using midpoints or you could use an X. Um, it's got a diameter of 18. SketchUp requires radius, so you're going to type in 9, and it wants us to pull it out uh, 32 inches. We're going to go over here. Like I said, you can go uh, midpoint, midpoint, or you can go uh, corner, corner. It's up to you. So it's nine inches is radius. Okay, we're going to erase the stuff we don't need. Once again, pulling it out 32. Okay, 32 inches, um, just to kind of remind you, if inches is shift, the key next to the enter key, which is essentially the quotes uh, in the architectural drawings where we dealt primarily with feet. Uh, feet was the apostrophe, same key, but didn't require shift. So we have 32 inches, enter. Now you might think you're done, you're not. Um, one thing you're going to be required to do for full marks is you're going to have to put on as many of these dimensions as you can. Um, so we're going to go over to tools, pick the word dimensions, and just start clicking. So there's 40, there's 52 there. Okay. Now if you want, you can go here. There's 36 here. There's the height, 32. Uh, we'll click on here radius of this, diameter of this, uh, we've got here to here, there's our 11, click there, there's our 18, you can click on this radius here, it'll show diameter, and that'll give you basically all the, uh, the dimensions that you're going to need, uh, if you forget one or two it's not a huge deal, but you're going to have to dimension the, uh, the actual object, so there's your dimensions, Totally done.